Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to control the disguise timeline and queues using Isadora and OSC. So first I'm going to start in Isadora. I'm using Isadora version 3, which is the latest version from the Troikotronic software. I know that I'm going to need an OSC transmit actor because I need to address disguise using um, IP port and then the address into the software. Now I'm going to plan to control um, two sections or scenes within the disguise software. So I'm going to keep it simple and separate these two OSC transmits. Now my idea is to use a keyboard watcher. These, this could be anything really. But um, the idea is that when you press a letter on your QWERTY keyboard, it will control um, and output this message into Isadora. So I'm going to use the letter A. And then I'm going to change the next letter to the letter S, because obviously A and S on the UK QWERTY keyboard are right next to each other. So I'm going to do um, apostrophe S apostrophe. So now I've got A and S. So this will eventually send a message out through this actor, and this one will send the message out through this actor. But for now, um, I can't do much more. So I'm going to jump into the disguise software. I'm going to create a new project and call it OSC Demo. I'm going to click Create and I'm going to run this project. This will take a few seconds to start up. While it does that, I'm on version 17.04 of Disguise, so only one or two decimal places from the latest version as of March. So um, once this is started up, you'll see that it's a completely uh, blank demo project. I should say so there would just be one surface one projector so I'm going to keep things really simple I'm going to press Control L and create uh, a radar and um, I can shrink this down if I need to um, and to separate them into sections or queues I'm going to click on the timeline here and press Alt S and split the section and then do another one here so that things are kind of sectioned up and um, now this could be scenes the length of a loop live feed video anything really i'm going to go into this section the ready pink section press ctrl l again i'm going to go for our good friend bugs and bring that down so what this means is if i go back to the very beginning and press play on loop as this plays along when it gets to here which is 30 seconds it'll jump back to the beginning this is like a container, a section that will just loop forever. Um, but then this is the same thing. We, I have to click in here and it will trigger bugs. And I want to be able to jump between these by pressing A on the keyboard watcher in Isadora and S on the keyboard watcher. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to stop it for a second and go right back to the beginning. First thing I need to do is right click and create a new tag. Now I need to change the type of tag from not timecode, not MIDI, I need it to be a queue. And I'm going to give this queue a name. Again, for simplicity, I'm going to give it the tag number one. Click OK. And there it appears here. I can move this around by holding Alt and dragging it around underneath here. That's fine for now. That's exactly where I need it. So I'm going to go ahead now and click here at the beginning of this bug section. And I'm going to right click again. And I'm going to give this a tag. You guessed it, number two, and click OK. So I could go on to do this for as long as I need to, and you can delete them, remove them, do whatever you want. So the next step in disguise is I need to create an OSC device. So I'm going to go up here, right click on devices, and I'm going to add a device, and I'm going to call it OSC. Click OK. It's going to tell me, well, what actually what actual type of device is this? I'm going to say it's an OSC device. Okay, I can close this. So there's my device, OSC. If I right click on this, it'll give me some information. Um, so we want is it um, disguised to receive OSC? Um, and we need the port. And there it is, receive OSC on port 7401. So I'm going to jump back to Isadora and type in here. 
same again in here, 7401. But we still need the IP number and we also need the address. So we're going to go back into Disguise and have a look for the IP address. Now whilst I am connected to Wi-Fi right now, because Disguise and Isadora is on the same computer, it's called a loopback interface. Uh, here's the IP. 127.0.0.1 is also known as localhost. But because I'm broadcasting OSC, I need this broadcast address, which is 127.255.255.255. So I'm going to go back to Isadora and type in here 127.255.255.255. Please check this because it's very easy to put commas rather than um, decimal place and also with a lot of twos and a lot of fives it can get a little bit complicated. So the last thing we need is this address so I don't want to send OSC to Isadora I want to send it to the skies. So what do we do there? Well this is where we need to jump to another menu so I'm going to close these for now. Because we want to control the transport, like jumping around the timeline, this falls under the transport category. So right click and event transport and add a remote transport. So what do we want to add? So I'll give this a name, OSC. I click OK. It says what type of transport device is this? It's an event transport OSC. So that's fine. So that has now been added. But it'll ask you what OSC device you're using. So I've just created one. Um, so I'm going to say OSC. But what we also need is if I go back and right click on OSC and right click again, the incoming messages, this is our um, pathway into disguise. So here's Q. So the pathway here is forward slash d3, forward slash show control, forward slash q. If I click on that, it will highlight it. I press control c to copy it. Go back to Isadora and copy and paste that in there. So now we have the IP address, the port number and the actual address into the software. So now we're almost ready to go. But what I need to do now is convert this keystroke, this message, into a number which I can send into this value. The easiest way I've found to do this is trigger value. So here I'm going to type 1. And what I'm saying is when the letter A is pressed, trigger this number into here. And this number 1 will be sent after this address. So it's basically saying Q number 1. I'll copy and paste this and change it to 2. Do exactly the same thing. And what this is saying now is when I press the letter S, tell me, but then also trigger the value 2 and add it to the end of this line. So 1 and 2, which should match 1 and 2. The last thing we need to do is to engage um, disguise. Currently says not engaged. What that means is everything's set up, but it's not actually live. Isadora, um, Isadora may send the data, but OSC hasn't opened the gate, so to speak, to actually check if the information's coming in. So I'm going to left click and it's engaged. So you can clearly see that's flashing, it's waiting for information. I'm going to go back to Isadora one last time and manipulate my screen in such a way that you can see um, both softwares here. So bear with me a second. But basically now when I press A and S on the keyboard, you should see a number of things happen. It should light up here um, and it should jump around on the timeline. So let's give it a go. Um, a, S, A and S. So you can see it's flashing here to tell you that it's receiving the information. And you will also see the content change on the screen because it's working down here as well. Let's do that again. A and S. And as I flick between them, I'm in control of these scenes. So these keyboard watchers, this could be anything. A MIDI message, it could be um, data from a Kinect, pretty much anything. An Arduino sensor, 
And um, once you've got this part set up and it's talking to disguise, it's really just down to creativity, a bit of playing around and figuring out what you basically need to do to realize the project. So that's the basics. It can be developed a lot more. If you've got any questions or would like any help or assistance, please just drop me a message. Thanks.